Hello and welcome back to Let's Play the Dark Dungeon. My name is Sir Chemis. Today, kind of the continuation of the previous episode, which was rather short. We're going to do a long mission this time though. We're going to collect another focused ring. We already have one of those, but it is always nice to have a backup. Uh, we're going to bring a highwayman, a crusader, a jester and the arbalist. Now, I've used the same formation in the last episode. So if you want to know more about the trinkets that I'm using, please take a look at that. One difference though is that I've equipped the Sturdy Greaves on the Arbalist, which is a common item which increases her move resist, but more importantly increases her move skill chance. I'm planning on using the Bola a bit more today, and then possibly in combination with the Grape Shot Blast after the uh, Highwayman has used the Point Blank Shot. But anyway, for more information about the formation, you can watch the last episode and I explain things there in a bit more detail. So let's get into this dungeon because we need more gold. More gold so that we can upgrade more characters to the champion level. So that we can uh, yeah, beat the game basically. Okay, um, anti-venom I don't really think that we're going to need. Let's bring four bandages, medicinal herbs we don't really need, two skeleton keys, two holy waters and... 10 torches. Alright, back in the ruins. Whoa, that's a big, big level. At least that's my initial impression. That's our first battle. That never takes long, does it? Alright, we want to take care of the bone veteran because those are nasty. We are not going to be able to bleed them, unfortunately. So we need to deal a lot of damage straight away. That would be best indeed. Okay, let's... Can we kill these guys? Not like that. No, we can't. That's a bit better. Um, you were going to use the Bola, but I don't really see a lot of... Well, that could still work. What's the knockback? The knockback is one. Yeah, that's not going to help. Okay, in that case... Maybe use a suppressing fire that may actually allow us to dodge the attacks from the bone nobles a little bit better. Alright, we did in fact land the debuffs. We can maybe even kill one of them. Indeed we can. Of course the Holy Lance does uh, deal increased damage to unholy enemies. Graveyard slash, only 4 damage. Um, Dirk stab, that's fine. Another tempting goblet. I was kind of hoping to get another turn with the Arbalist before him. Or maybe even with the Crusader, but that is extremely unlikely considering that his speed is minus two. But anyway, uh, pistol shot, that will do as well. Alright, didn't dodge it. That's a bit unfortunate. We could do a heal instead, but I guess we may as well smite him. He does have protection though, I should be aware of that. Bola, is that going to get the kill? It may. It didn't. Didn't even knock him back. Dirk stab. Alright, not bad at all. Although, not extremely impressive. Anything in here, as far as we know? We don't know. Okay. Torch in that case. Um, Deja vu? Oh, well, this, these are two bone conscripts. There's no bone veteran in here. But these bone nobles look awfully familiar. And they get the first turns. That's 30 stress that I didn't ask for. You bastard. Maybe I should actually change the skill sets a little bit of the Jester. Because he mostly has bleed skills. And they're not particularly useful against undead. But then again. There's also bandits and what have you in this in the ruins. Alright. And we do also get a bit of stress relief from the uh, kills and crits that we land of course. We should never forget that. Let's use the Bola. One kill. A little bit of damage to the other one. The Bone Noble should now be kind of uh, neutralized. You might call it. 
Knife in the dark is not that effective. Of course, the other one can still use the Tempting Goblet. Just to now add 29 stress. He's not doing too great in my opinion. Crystal shot, yeah. Alright, you do a bit of healing. The Crusader is going to do the same probably. We can probably deal with another knife in the dark from the Bone Noble. 4 damage. Well, the Crusader can uh, deal with the amount of damage better than the Jester can, so... There's that. He can use the Duelist Advance. Okay. Very good. You move over there, you move over there, you eat a tiny bit of food, and then we will continue. Ooh, a buff. I like it. Who is gonna get the buff? I am thinking the Jester, because he didn't deal a lot of damage so far. Yeah. Alright, and do I want to swap out a few skills? I think I may. I think I may. Let's let's use the solo, perhaps. Yeah, let's try to use the solo instead. I'm not going to uh, use the finale as well. Only the solo. Please don't tell me that I knew that there was a trap and I simply forgot to check the map. And yet another fight. Okay. Reducing accuracy in all of those guys could be good. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, actually then we cannot can no longer use the point blank shot with the Highwayman. So that wasn't really clever on my part. A quarrel against the Highwayman. Another 6 damage that he has increasingly more difficulty dealing with. Um, pistol shot perhaps, duelist advance perhaps. Let's use the duelist advance maybe against this guy. 9 damage, not bad. Crushing blow, 8 damage, could have been worse. Debuff, what does that do? Reduced stun resistance, okay. We can take out this guy. And we will. Uh, sniper shot against this guy might kill him. It did indeed. Only the Bone Commander left to deal with. Our Highwayman is not looking great. Can we do anything about that? Well... Not really. <laughs> um, we don't want to use a Dirk Stab. Slice Off is useless. Solo we also don't want to use. So, Battle Ballad. That took me a while, but... Um, still got to the right conclusion, I guess. Decent damage, crushing blow against the Crusader, 9 damage, he can handle that for now. Another debuff. Uh, let's do a bit of healing now. He's almost dead. Uh, Dirk Step could be alright now, so let's use that. Another crit. Uh, um, yeah, sure. Ah well, I was hoping for to get an, a heal with the Crusader, but... Fine, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, Holy Water, I kind of want to keep. I don't really want the bust, so let's dump those. Medicinal herbs, also not very useful in the ruins. So there you are. Unlocked strong box. It is not trapped this time. Take that stuff. Very nice. Alright, nothing in the next room, so we will push onwards. Bookcase, we're going to ignore. Uh, what am I going to do now? I could camp right here. I guess that's not a bad idea, considering the state of our health. Or we could push on for one more room. I'm going to camp here. Uh, feast will help a lot, I think. And then what? That's mostly related to stress, which we don't need. Uh, same goes for him. 
Uh, I do like bandit sands. I do like clean guns. Let's also use restring crossbow. And all companions heal 15%. That could be worth it. No, it's not going to be. It would be more effective to use a wound care on the highwayman. And then lastly... Oh, I, I have the tiger. Could also be nice. Hmm. Then again, we have Unshakable Leader. That's a very good one too. Let's use that one. We do have to deal with a lot of uh, stress damage dealers in the ruins. Bone nobles. Uh, cultist enchantresses. That's basically it, but still. Let's also fix our party order, by the way. There we are. Okay, another strong box, another blood letter, another cutthroat, and another fusilier. What can we do against those? Well, a slice off might work, or a solo, perhaps. I like the the idea for a solo because most of these enemies can do an area of effect attack, and this would kind of negate that problem. Um, let us then use maybe a grape. No, a grape shot blast is not a good option. Let's attack this guy. Ah, almost got the kill. Almost. Suppressing fire. Also didn't get the kill. Very close though. Holy Lance. Well, whatever. <laughs> Bit of an overkill, but uh, so be it. Alright. What is their debuff now? Minus 18 accuracy, minus 8 crit. That's good. That isn't. I'm gonna try to get rid of that as soon as possible. Which would be right now. Thank you. Dirk stab perhaps or another solo. Hmm, Dirk stab. And then another pistol shot. All right, he is down. Next, uh, we could do a bit of healing. We could try to knock him back, but I don't think that that is going to do any good. In fact, the crusader will then, in that case, not be able to hit him. Although he does have holy lands, so I guess that might still work. Uh, but this does have a damage reduction though, so I guess Sniper Shot is still better. 11 damage, fine. Rain of Whips. One dodge, but two bleeds. Hmm. He can deal with that little bit of damage. The Arbalist I might actually use a bandage on, as soon as I get the opportunity. Uh, move him back, move him forward, interact with this, it is not trapped, very nice, take it, deeds we don't really want, let's eat a tiny bit of food, then we can take 25 gold, close and let's continue, no scout unfortunately, we still have a long way to go, let's go to the right first. I don't know what this does. And once again, this fight. This fight is getting a bit old. Slice off could be good. Then again, solo I like a lot as well. He resisted it. I hate you. Okay. Good to know. Pistol shot. Kill number one. We do, of course, have the buff from the campfire, which is awesome. Only eight damage, but he does have high protection. Maybe this can get the kill? It can indeed. Point blank shot though against the Jester is not good. 10 damage is a lot of health for that guy. Uh, is there a way we can heal him up? Not very easily at any rate. Um, pistol shot I guess. The Crusader can use a, whatever it's called. The battle heal. A lot of bleeds. Ugh. 
Let's try to do that, because I don't want to camp again. Not so soon, anyway. Eight, that's quite nice. Of course, he is going to lose a bit of health now. Um, four more damage, then he's got 11. Yeah, that's way too low. I'm gonna bend this setup again. More bleed for the blood letter, how fitting. 17 damage will also help a lot. Not enough to kill him right now, though. 23 damage against the Crusader is also very, very, very bad. Oh dear. We may need that campfire after all. There's a battle healing herself right now. A crit of 14, okay. Looking a bit better. I'm, I think I'm gonna push on then. Take most of this stuff, eat a bit of food with the Jester, may as well, right? Um, dump the busts. Yes. Take the Onyx. I'm gonna leave the Jade behind. Move him back to the front, move him a bit closer to the front as well. Um, an ornate fountain of holy purport. Investigate the fountain. I'm guessing holy water, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, let's try that. Divine benefit. A heal of 16. And the bleed was removed. Very nice. I wonder if that buff from the arbalist actually helped uh, with this. But I guess we'll never know. Alright. More heirlooms. Another shovel which is good. Uh, another trap, which is not good. 14 damage. Basically lost all of the health that we gained from the fountain. So, yippee. No fighting here. A scout. Anything up there? There is. It is a treasure room. It requires a shovel. It is a treasure room. Hmm... Uh, I find it so difficult to uh, to let treasure rooms alone. Let's pick that one up on the way back. Maybe if we have more room by then. Who knows? Anything in here? No. Okay, good. For a moment there I thought there was a trap there. I didn't quite remember. Okay, two stress damage dealers. We did get a surprise. Very nice. Point blank shot. 15 damage is not bad against an armored enemy. Um, a slice off or Dirk stab? Hmm. Tough call here. Battlefield. Uh, a battle ballot could also be nice. Or a solo. A solo I like. Two of them dodged it. Well, fine, whatever. Suppressing fire could still be good though. Actually, all of them seem to have dodged it. Oh, they, some of them dodged it, some of them resisted it. That is, must have been what happened. Alright, fair enough. Can we perchance... Oh, we can also use the Bola. Yeah, let's try that. Not the effect that I was hoping for, to be perfectly honest. Stressful incantation, no surprise there. We do, of course, have the... Uh, stress damage reduction buff from the camp that the Crusader gave us. Now we have another bleed to deal with. Yippee. And the one hit point left on the bulwark actually allowed him to perform an attack. Uh, this is not going to deal any damage, which is unfortunate. We could also use the Dirk Stab, though, against her. It's not going to kill her. But then the um, Crusader may be able to do just that. Another stressful incantation. Also reduces the torchlight a little bit. Gripe shot blast. One kill and 12 damage to the other two enemies. Then suppressing fire, sniper shot, I guess could be the would be the best choice here. The Crusader can still use. Actually, the Crusader should probably use battle heal. Only six, unfortunately. He does, of course, no longer have the buff from the Arbalist. 
Okay, I believe that the music uh, was glitching there for a second, but... Uh... Alright, so the game kind of malfunctioned there a little bit. But we're fine again, it would seem good. Means that I don't have to redo the entire dungeon. Uh, kind of don't want that. Nope. Although, I could have used the, uh, I could have used the bandage and, well, whatever. Too late now, too late now. Let's keep an eye on the map. We also want to loot this, of course. More heirlooms. Alright. Uh, boy. Six crests. We're kind of here for the gold today, though. So I'm going to leave them behind. We have enough crests. 24 odd to do it. Then what? I guess we're going to go south. No point backtracking even further. An urn, we're not gonna interact with that, I don't... Well, actually, I don't quite know what it does when you don't use an, uh, uh, holy water. So let's actually try that. Alright, nothing bad happened, at the very least. Bone Noble, two gladiators. Three debuffs, I like it. Mitch, they missed, very nice. Please let them miss as well. They didn't. Okay. Well. Still. He's still below 50. So that's kind of good I guess. Can we kill him? We may be able to do that. Then again. A grape shot blast would deal to all enemies. Including the one who hasn't had his turn yet. Um, unless we crit. It's not going to kill him. But I'm going to try. Okay. I'm glad I tried. So close to a kill right there, but no luck. No more stress damage from him, that's good. Then you can do a Dirk Stab. 11 damage, almost there. He's probably gonna get a turn next. No, he isn't. I like it. Duelist Advance. 9 damage, not quite there. Went for the old gods. He managed to land it. No bleed, though. Very good. So that, unfortunately, the Crusader cannot heal from that position. He cannot even attack right now. Um, debuff him. I could kill him. Kind of want to wait. No, I'm not going to wait for the opportunity. I would like to heal up a little bit, to be perfectly honest. Health-wise, we are not looking too great right now. Whoops, that was not my intention. Uh, this will do, though. Alright, we know that this room is empty. No scout. We still have to explore a long, long way. Let's not linger. Yeah, let's not. Thank you. Three more torches. We're going to ignore that because we need a medicinal herbs for that. At least we need that if we want a guaranteed success. No stress damage dealers, but this is still kind of bad. Let's debuff them again, although it does make the uh, the Jester much more vulnerable. Two of them resisted it. Yeah. My quarrel dodged it this time. All right, good. Grape shot blast is not gonna do that great. Pistol shot then could do a lot better. Nine. Okay, I was kind of hoping for another crit, but. Graveyard Slash, 8 damage, wow. Yeah, we're definitely gonna camp after this. If we're still alive by then. Alright, I can, I guess, try to kill this guy. Got it, very nice. The Bone Marksman should no longer be effective right now. Or at least not nearly as effective as he could be. 16 damage, almost dead as well. Bayonet job. That is indeed much less effective. Very nice. Then you could kill him, but you could also heal up the Crusader a little bit, which I prefer at the moment. 
That weight is a knockback, but it didn't land, which is good. You heal yourself because you have you're currently buffed by the arbalist, so let's take advantage of that. You kill the bone marksman, and then we only need to focus on the bone bulwark, who can be quite nasty to be perfectly honest. Mostly because of his high protection, though. Um, this is not good. The crusader is in a bad position there. I'm not quite sure how to resolve that. It's obviously my fault here. Ooh, that's a lot of damage as well. Yeah, he has to simply move. That was a bit of a misplay. I should have been more aware of the movement going on within the party. Um, Duelist advance. Five damage, almost there. Could do another heal. She can target the front row. That wasn't quite enough. Ah, too bad. I was kind of hoping to prevent that turn from ever happening. Oh well. Take all of that, or at least most of it. A lot of loot. Um, let us dump the rest, I guess. Yeah. And then let's camp. We're definitely going to feast now. And then the Crusader had something that was good both for health and stress. Heal 10%. That's not particularly great. The Arbalist can also do something like that. Heal 15%. Which is a bit more, of course. Um... What we could also do is apply maybe a field dressing. Then again. Hmm, I'm not completely sure about that. Anyway, let's uh, let's look at the buffs first because we definitely need to buff ourselves up a little bit further. Um a tiger's eye could be good. Uh, no surprises would be definitely advantageous. And clean guns. And restring crossbow. That's, those are basically the no-brainers. Then we have four points left. Okay. Let's spend those points wisely. Wound care on the uh, highwoman could be nice. Then we have two points left. Which we could use on an encourage. Or maybe stand tall. Those are basically my only two options. Or we could use the field dressing and leave it with that. I think I may actually prefer that. Alright, let's do that then. Only six? That was not a lot. I was expecting his health bar to be almost full again. Hmm. Maybe that ability doesn't quite work. Because his health bar was right above. above like a little bit more than half of it. And now it's not much better. So, hmm. Anyway. Move him over there. And then we are going to apply the buff to the Jester. Assuming that this works. Ah, we found some goodies. Okay, that's also fine. S a scout. Do we go to the left? So we're going to skip the room to the left because there's going to be a couple of fights before we even get there. And we still need to do the lower part of the dungeon. Hello again. Okay then, um, we could definitely do with a battle ballot here. What is his bleed resistance? Not amazing, so there's that's something at least. Um, let's heal up the highwayman a little bit. Point blank shot, excellent. 29 damage right off the bat. Collect call is of course the standard attack that he is going to be using. You can use your bulwark. That could be good. A couple of men at arms. They don't have protection. They do have quite high dodge though. They're not unholy. 
We cannot kill them in one hit with this, uh, with our Crusader. So maybe we should go for a, a different approach and use the Bulwark of Faith. Try to draw as many attacks towards the Crusader for now. And kill the Collector as soon as possible. A slice off cannot reach him at the moment though, that's kind of bad. The Dirk Step can also not reach him. I guess that I'm going to use a solo then. Then at least the Crusader can use um, an Unholy Lance next time. Okay, a guard. As, as long as they don't guard the uh, Collector. I should pay attention to that though. Uh, no, a crit, very good. I'm so glad that I cleaned guns. Had games, that's uh, a guard. Oh boy. Ugh. Uh, okay. What can we do about that? Not a lot, unfortunately. They have quite high... Prote I probably should have attacked them sooner, honestly. That was kind of... Yeah, it was a bad idea to not attack them immediately. Maybe with a suppressing fire, we can get them under control in the next round? No, their, their protection is gonna keep on stacking up. Yeah, it is. Alright, in that case, I guess I'm gonna have to start dealing some damage here. That was minimal damage. Excellent. Show collection, stress attack, that's fine by me. Although the Jester is a bit high on stress, I suppose. We cannot reach him, so... May as well smite. Only 12. Oh, I really hate those man-at-arms guys. Right, he's a bit closer. He's still, he's no longer guarded now. Okay, good. Pistol shot again. A damage, not very good, but lifesteal. Oh, uh, don't be too bad. 14. He gains 14. Uh, and, a, and a bleed, really? We still have one more bandage, I believe. And he's guarded again. And he's gonna use collect call, of course, on his next, uh, on his next action. Uh, and this one still gets a chance to act. I don't particularly like that. I wish I had a character who could stun, but I don't. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, let's use this one. At least it debuffs them. 12 damage, he is now at death's door and he's bleeding. Oh, please don't die. That would be ridiculous. Heal him up. Well done. Good heal, right there. He's still protected. Let us use another solo. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to make them as ineffective as possible. Use a bandage here, obviously. A pistol shot is not going to do us a lot of good. Unless we use a grape shot blast. Because that's an area of effect attack. Head games. He's protecting that one. As long as that one doesn't protect him. Another collect call. What is he summoning? Another man at... No, a highway. Well, I'm not sure. Another man at arms it would seem. Okay. Let's use the sniper shot. 16 damage. We are getting there. But things are going quite slowly. And the highwayman is... Not doing too well. Wow, okay. Um, heal him again, I guess. I don't want to lose that guy. Highwayman is not my favorite class, but it doesn't mean that I want to lose him. He's not protected at the moment. Hmm. A solo could help us. Ah, they are quite resistant to that, though. It would seem... No more bandages, so I guess pistol shot is the only option. 10 damage. Ooh, 33 more hit points. His guard failed, which is interesting. The Jester dodged it, which is fortunate. Head games, he is guarded again. Damn it. Uh, too bad. What can we do? I, I guess we keep simply keep on healing the uh, Highwayman. Then use a suppressing fire that deals at least some damage to the collector. And it also debuffs the enemies. I kind of like debuffs a lot today because they help us a lot in under these circumstances. 
Head games, okay, that's fine by me as long as the collector is not defended. Head hunt, 11 damage, and the bleed, ugh. So collection and another stress attack. He is no longer protected, excellent. 16 damage, almost there. 13 more hit points, can we do this? Alright, good. These guys should not really form a problem. I am going to try and heal up a little bit. Because we are not in good shape and we don't have another campfire anymore. Uh, they are still well protected. Yeah, let's do a solo in that case. Head games, they keep on protecting each other, of course. Head hunt, she has a lot of health so she can spare a few hit points. Ooh, okay, almost there, almost there. Their pro his protection is not that high anymore. I could use a grape shot blast. That's not bad. That also pierces right through the guards that they were trying to uh, to be using. Um, let us do actually another heal on the Crusader, and then he he can heal himself more effectively in the next round. Okay, another solo. It's too bad that that doesn't deal a little bit of damage, but it does make them a lot less likely to deal damage. Never mind. The game immediately contradicts me. Alright, one of them down, one of them almost down, and he's not protected at the moment. Let's use another one of those, then the healing should be even more effective. There we go, 10, that is decent. Hopefully they're not gonna take it straight away. Only one left. He's got 75 protection, he passes his turn. Interesting. Well, not, not really, really interesting, but... Okay, that, 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 that's good to know, I guess. Yep. Um, grape shot blast, because I don't know what else I can do to... Uh... In fact... Ooh, nice. Looking a lot better already. You heal up him in that case. Make sure that everybody is okay. And then, once his protection comes down a little bit... We can actually start finishing him off. He doesn't have any abilities from that position, apparently. A crit of 10 with a grape shot blast is amazing. And then the Crusader can finish him off. Um, she can do that for the Jester before we do that, though. And there we are. Well, <laughs> pulled that out of the fire, didn't we? Very nice. Okay. Um, we don't even need food really to heal up uh, from this but we still do need to explore a couple more rooms what can we do we might be able to skip this room so if we go down then go over here then we might have to finish this entire hallway which would be kind of bad so I'm kind of hoping that there's nothing in this hallway and there's nothing to uh, surprise us or anything do we have uh, no we don't okay well that's okay I was kind of hoping that we picked up a, um, no scout. Ah, boy. I'm gonna risk it. I am not a lucky person. No, I'm not. At least some loot in here, hopefully. A map. Okay, that could be useful, actually. Nothing there, so we're gonna continue on the, uh, in that direction. And this room is also, also empty. The problem is though that I have got only one shovel left. So if I need a shovel in this bit of the dungeon, then I might be screwed. Well, screwed. I mean, I suppose that I could do with a bit of stress damage. That's not that big of a deal. Hmm... I think it's a better idea to simply skip that room. I am of course going to take a peek outside to see what it, what is in here. An empty crate. That's kind of what I expected because, you know, that's how things go when I play this game. I guess that 
most people experience this game in a similar fashion. Okay, this gives us a buff. It would give us a bigger buff if we had a holy water, but so be it. Let's apply it to the jester. Alright, we have one more torch, which we're going to use right now. Your disarm chance is 120, so let's try to reduce the stress on you a little bit. Scout, nice. Nothing in that room. Nothing in that room, okay. A map. Okay, well at least we know everything by then. Alright, that's going to be empty. Hmm. Well, that's kind of disappointing with regards to the loot, to be perfectly honest. Yes, indeed. Although we did, of course, get a puzzling trapezohedron. Which is worth a lot. But we didn't nearly get as much gold as I wanted to. Then again, I didn't... Uh, most of this dungeon I didn't do in the dark. And in the darkness, of course, you get better treasures. More loot. Some contents. Okay, well, that's some extras at least. And a bit more stress relief. And then this should be the final room that we need to go to. Alright, well, I'm not going to backtrack and try to collect more treasures. And of course, we also get 11,000 from simply completing this dungeon. But... Yeah, I guess this is okay. 22,000. 22,500, in fact. Mankind Hater instead of Stress Faster, Wield Adventurer instead of, instead of Cove Explorer, and Clutter instead of Wield Tactician. That last one, I am... yeah, that's... I like her being a Wield Tactician, but anyway. Alright, well, Gurabout is now a Master Crusader. Which means he is now level... Four or five? Four. Okay, well, that that's fine, I guess. I could use these guys again next time, because they are still in pretty decent shape. Then we've used them three times in a row, which is kind of crazy. At least for me. It would save me the trouble of having to select a new party, though. Blasphemous Vile. Could they do well in the wield, I'm wondering? You know what? The longer I think about it... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop talking. Thank you. Uh, Paralyzer's Crest. That could actually be interesting, but we don't have enough... Um, apprentice level characters. So I don't think that that is going to happen. Another Blasphemous Vial. It would be good to have a backup for that. It is also an explore mission, which is nice. We could also do this one, but I kind of really want the gold. But then again, we could also try a champion level mission. Because we do have a bit of gold now for some upgrades, I guess. Eh, tough call, tough call. I'm going to think about that in between episodes. In the meantime, is there perhaps an interesting trinket that I might want to buy? Huh? You never knew? Um, no, not really. Increases the number of, av of available trinkets. Okay, so then the chance increases that there is a good item. But I'm for now going to go with the merchant trade work. Uh, network, I mean. Reduce the costs of these items. We can reduce it by another 20%, which is quite good. Alright, well then. In that case, I'm going to call this episode to, the, to a close. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a very interesting dungeon, in my opinion. And I hope to see you next time when we will be going into the cove? Wheels? Who knows? I'll see you next time.